Welcome to the conference. I am Ricardo Quesada, the founder and main author of Cocos 2D. And I'm happy to announce that recently I joined Tucong. And my job is to work full time on Cocos 2DX. During the last month, we have been working hard on Cocos 2DX version 3.0 and in Cocos Studio. Cocos 2DX version 3.0 is much more than you would expect from a standard version change. We took the time to review and profile the source code. We wanted to identify possible bottlenecks in performance. We wanted to identify which components were easy to use and which components needed a refactoring. For example, Cocos 2DX 3.0 will have a new renderer system which is going to be multi-threaded and easier to support new GPU platforms. We will have faster and more efficient labels and they are going to be easier to maintain as well. We will have a new unified event dispatcher which will be easier to use and we will have better physics integration. Also. Cocos 2DX is more C++ friendly, while in Cocos 2DX version 1 and version 2 the priority was to be as compatible as possible with Cocos 2D iPhone. In Cocos 2DX version 3 the priority is to be as friendly as possible with the C++ developers. That means that we replaced Objective-C patterns with C++ best practices, including the removal of Hungarian notation. We also migrated to C++11 making our code more robust, easier to read and maintain. As an example, our menu and action systems can be used with Lambda objects. The Coco Studio team has been working hard in adding new great features as well. Coco Studio now supports an improved scene editor with GUI components. It also has a much better animation system with flipbook animations, bone animations, including flash and dragon bone animation importers. Well, those were just a few of the new features of Cocos2DX and Cocos Studio. Please enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs>